What's up guys and welcome back to Munchcraft. So it's uh it's actually January 1st, 2012. And I may be talking on a bit of a lower note. That is because it's actually like seven in the morning. I, I just woke up. I don't know, I think I may have like some sleeping problems or something because I went to sleep last night like at 3 in the morning and I'm already up and I don't feel sleepy at all and that painting is broken because that should be something way cooler. So we're back on Doku Craft today and I'm actually on creative mode which I shouldn't be on. Today we're going to be going into the nether. That's right, the nether. Welcome to your new life. So, basically what you need for the nether is uh, 14 blocks of obsidian. You can actually, let me just show you, you can make a more, I guess a less expensive nether portal by making it like this. And then you only need uh, 12 or 10 actually. So, whatever way you want to make the nether portal, I like mine the classic way. So, let's go ahead and uh, turn this thing on. Boom! So that's how you make another portal and I think we do need some armor so what I actually did before I don't remember when but off screen at one point or another I got all this stuff um, and I actually need to put all this shit away because I've been doing some exploring off screen all right so I think we should be good now I cleared out my inventory I'm gonna keep around the fishes and uh, the steaks because I actually want some uh, some food while I'm in the nether and I'm just going to take a little bit of everything. I think an iron sword would be in need. Uh, maybe um, one more shovel. I don't think we need a shovel in the nether though. So one more pickaxe just in case. And I'm going to take a nice full set of armor for when the one I currently have breaks. Because actually they're pretty much broken. So let me put on the helmet. Put on the boots. And here we go guys. It's time to go into the nether. Oh boy, so here we are, and I actually switched back to Doku Craft. I don't know if you guys noticed or not. Wow, that mine's fast. Uh, that's because I'm on my diamond one, whoops. But uh, this is the nether. A lot of you may know what it is, but some of you that haven't played Minecraft that often might not really know what's going on. So basically the nether is like hell. I'm not even joking, it's literally like hell. You will soon find out why I'm saying this. Uh, so when you first get in here, um, in previous versions of Minecraft, there was really nothing around, or at least not too much stuff around. Now, however, since the uh, the Minecraft 1.0, uh, they have added quite a few things, including Nether dungeons, which I actually couldn't even like believe. I didn't think they they would ever add more stuff to the Nether because they haven't added anything to it. Uh, since Halloween of last year when the nether actually was released so I'm actually trying to dig down because I know that there's like a huge area like I'm saying it's basically like hell and I'm kind of in a cave right now so I want to show you the main part of the nether and I wanted a safe way down so I'm digging digging a hole diggy diggy there it is wow I can't make my way down that um should have brought some like sand or something so I could make my way down easily but oh well I guess we're gonna have to do this let's go Ugh. don't die damn it uh, let's uh, let me find my stuff that I just dropped and in nether you can find uh, creatures like ghasts they're giant like heads oh god you can't even place water that's bullshit I couldn't have made it from down there like unless I went down here I, I don't know point being uh, let's <laughs> let me grab my stuff again because that was stupid and there are oh well, there's mushrooms here I never I didn't remember there were mushrooms in the nether but uh, these are zombie pigmen they won't attack you unless you attack them first or unless you know a gas attacks them and you're near them which is complete bullshit but still happens sometimes so be careful of that so you probably already noticed, but I actually turned off mo creatures for a little bit. Uh, I don't think mo creatures actually spawns things in the nether, but I turned it off for a bit because it was apparently making my game really glitchy, and that is some weird looking lava. It's actually pretty cool looking though. It looks like magma, like kind of dying out or something. I don't know. 
but all these fires you can put them out because they're annoying and you can step in them on accident I don't know I think I just have an OCD with turning off fires just like I do with uh, with like corners and caves and stuff like that that is some uh, what is that called soul sand or something like that and it basically slows you down when you step on it so that's not very good but I'm actually gonna be trying to find another dungeon and I don't know how to find them to be honest and I don't know how far away it could be and I forgot to bring myself some obsidian because I actually need to make a portal there's something over here I'm not sure but I see oh there it is that's definitely got to be another dungeon however I am on the other side of this giant lava pool and I have no idea how to get over it unless I you know use creative mode but I don't really want to do that for getting over there so instead we're gonna try to build a tunnel over there um, through all this nether rack and let's see how it goes because I don't know all right there we go I made a little bit of a tunnel and now we're down here and that is the nether dungeon oh god there's a guest shooting at me oh no I, I don't even know if I attempted to dodge that because I I don't know I, I guess I oh that just directly hit me it didn't do anything though what you can actually do is when they fire at you let me let me Oh, Leroy! Oh, damn it! Oh God! Oh no! Uh, this isn't going too well. Oh my gosh! I am not even seeing them shoot at me, and I don't have creative mode on, so I don't know what's going on. These things should be blowing me up, but I guess my armor is too powerful. There we go! Look at that! Knocking back the gas fireball shits at them. God damn it! I I really wanted to. Uh, oh shoot! I wanted to build a bridge across the... God damn it. Uh, I wanted to build a bridge across to there, but I guess I'm not going to be able to do that with this stupid gas in the way. Oh god. Unless I actually manage to hit its fireballs back at it. Yeah, now we're on eye level. You're going to die. You're going to die, you know that? Look at that. You're on fire, noob. You're on fire. Oh, she. You suck. You died. So now I'm scared that I will actually fall in the lava, so gotta think of this for a little bit. Oh gosh, is there another one? I don't want to die, because this is a- what I'm doing right now is very, very dangerous, and I really don't want to have a gas shooting at me while I'm doing this. Yep, making this bridge a little bit safer, and now into the nethery dungeon we go! So we're just gonna do a little bit of breaking and entering here, and here we are behind it. Great. Let's just head in there and try to explore it and see what there is. Oh, what are those things? The hell is that? Oh, those are the new mobs. The blaze things, whatever they're called. Oh, gosh, they're on fire now. Oh, they shoot at you. Oh, no, they shoot at you. They burn. Oh, gosh. Uh, no, no, I am not going to burn alive. Thank you, sir. And, oh, shoot. Die. There we go. Look at that. Dead. We picked up some blaze rods, whatever those do, I really don't know, but let's uh, let's go over here now, up some stairs, or... oh, what's this? Oh, these are the nether warts, I heard about these too, they're used for making some sorts of potions, I have never made potions before, so I don't know what how to do it, there's another zombie pig man attacking me, I'm gonna pick up these uh, nether warts here. And, uh, if you actually, I think you, I think they can grow outside of the nether, but, you know, you need to place down, uh, this stuff. The, um, I, I am picking them up, so. Good. I guess there's a, like, an outside area here. There's some glowstone blocking the way. I don't think that's supposed to happen. Uh, but, I guess it just randomly spawned inside here. Or, like, it's colliding with the actual world generation. I don't know what's going on, but it doesn't seem to be, like, on the ground, so... Maybe this is actually supposed to spawn this way, and there's just a bunch of glowstone in the way, so. I don't know. Never know in the world of Minecraft what could happen, but I'm gonna mine all this glowstone. It's all mine. I don't know why it's green, but I guess Doku Craft makes it green and awesome. I guess this place has a second story. We're gonna go up here. Um. Well. I don't know what's up with this. I really don't. I guess this is the end of it, though. Um, so let's head back, I guess. 
I see another one over there, though, and it seems like it's a lot more exciting than this one. This one's kind of in a cave, and it's not really giving me all that much stuff. I don't know if there is supposed to be a lot of things here, but definitely met the new mob, the, um, the blazes, I think they're called. What is that? Is that another blaze? Or is that like a zombie pigman on fire? It's kind of dark, so... Oh my god, it flew up to the ceiling! What the hell was that? It's got a gold nugget, whatever that does. Oh, there's a... What the hell? Are these... What are these? I don't get it. But there's a spawner of them right here. Boom, you suck. And it just flew away from me. Get back over here. Hey! Get... Get... Get the hell over here. I'm not gonna jump down there with you. I know there's lava. You're baiting me, noob. I ain't gonna follow your rules. Oh, wow. Looks like this part is actually flooded with lava, so... That's great. Um, I don't know how that happened, but hey, this is a very dangerous idea. I'm gonna do it anyway. Here we go. Blazes. Die. There's another one. Oh, there's a spawner right there. That's what's going on. So let me... Oh, gosh. Hey, you can't, you can't just go around setting people on fire. What the hell are you thinking? Bro... Bro, respect my bro authority, man. Get back over here, man. Kick your ass, bro. So, I can actually just go around them and break their stupid spawner. Oh, lol. You just got backdoored. Now behind you. Surprise. Oh, shit. Oh, God, no. I can't believe that just happened. Alright, so after about two hours, I finally found all my stuff. And, uh... I don't know how I would have ever found this room from the surface because apparently there's absolutely nothing recognizable here. So, let me uh, put down some torches and get the hell out of here. Alright. So I did notice there's another dungeon over there and I don't really care anymore. I'm just going to fly over to it. And I see the game is kind of lagging, so that's not very good. So here we go. I turned off too many items because I don't want to be tempted to turn on creative mode while I'm going through these areas here. So I guess there's like a little open thing kind of here. This is actually pretty cool. Like for a random world generation, like I don't know how they did this, but I'm I'm no good at like programming or anything. But gotta say this is a uh, pretty cool stuff for being you know randomly generated world. I actually did lose my nether warts earlier, I guess, so let's go on to somewhere else. Where shall we go? Maybe this way. There are some stairs, and those are cool, and uh, the nether is not very interesting, I'm sorry to say. Thought there would be more stuff here, but I guess there's just a bunch of red shit everywhere and i'm gonna waste my diamond pickaxe mining nether rack which isn't very cool but hey what can you do oh and there's nothing interesting in the nether to see you waste your diamond pickaxe away on the nether bricks and oh my god that's a giant magma cube holy crap oh it died oh no no it's not dead do they actually even drop anything other than experience they're not really dropping the base, you know? They're just dropping the experience. Oh, zombie pig man. Looks like you're the only interesting thing about this place. Oh no, they're all attacking me now. Oh no. I feel like the immortals where they're all rushing in through the same tunnel and I gotta kill them. Except there were only three of them. And in that movie, there were way more because that was amazing. I love that movie. Watch it if you haven't. It's great. As opposed to what I thought this would be, there was actually nothing remotely cool at all here, except for the blazes, maybe. They're pretty cool, but they don't actually do too much. So, let me kill. Yeah, all they drop are blaze rods, which I don't even know what they do, but I know I was looking for something called magma cream so that I could find the stupid stronghold back in the real world, but I guess we couldn't even do that because this nether absolutely sucks. Back to the real world we go. And... 
and uh, we're in a completely random forest, miles and miles away from our home, possibly. Not sure, but hey, there's some wolves down there. There we go, we're all out of bones, so... Holy crap, we've got ourselves a wolf army. Look at this, ready? Boom, attack him! Yeah, yeah, good job. Okay, I give up on trying to find my home, so... Here we go. Goodbye.